So in terms of TB, it's a global disease. In terms of mortality rates and incidence rates, we have around uh, 1 million deaths per year, 3 million in terms of incidence. But one of the striking features for tuberculosis is the rise of multidrug resistant tuberculosis. So our interests now look at trying to explore drug sensitive targets within tuberculosis. Um, initially looking at areas within cell wall biosynthesis where we know there are a number of vulnerable targets that we can tackle. So the route that we've taken is to really try and dissect the biosynthetic cell wall pathways that make up different components. All of these are very unique to mycobacteria. They have very distinct structural features that actually if you target the enzymes within these pathways you're actually going to have a good drug target. So initially we've started by looking at the pathways in terms of developing biochemical assays by purifying proteins with, from, that work within the pathway and then trying to look for inhibitors that actually target them. We also use crystallography as a means to look at probing how inhibitors interact with the proteins. But more recently what we've been doing is taking a phenotypic approach where one of the biggest problems with tuberculosis is how do you actually get the drugs into the bacteria? It's an age-old problem. So we've been looking at a, a subset of drugs that have been, or inhibitors that have been developed by GSK to see whether we can understand how they kill the bacteria, what is their mode of action in essence. So in terms of my early career, we were primarily interested purely from a metabolism point of view, how it, the cell wall was synthesized. We weren't really interested at that particular time in terms of understanding how we could use these as potential targets for drugs. Now that's evolved over the years now where we can see, we can start to exploit some of these targets because we have a better understanding of the under, underlying biology behind particular proteins and particular pathways. And by using that knowledge in combination with very selective agents, we can use those now to push through the next generation of TB drugs. I feel very honoured. Um, it's something that I think when you consider it's through peer recognition and think that's the most valuable response that you can get through achievement in your academic career where your peers recognize what you've done for the field. Um, I think it's also a great reflection on the postdocs and the PhD students that worked within my group both now and in the past because clearly I don't do all the work and they do all the work so it's a reflection of their standing and what their outputs have been over many many years.